Hey guys, so today I have a haul video for you yet again for the Sephora sale that's going on right now. It ends on April 15th, so you still have time to get your hands on a couple things. They only have this sale like twice a year. Took advantage this year for sure, so I have quite a few things to share with you guys. Some of this stuff I've used and loved and some of this stuff is completely new. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with primer so i picked up the blurring one size secure the blur primer I don't use primer in my everyday type of routine but i had made a or i filmed a video with my sister on her channel i'll link it down below and she was using a blurring primer by cover effects and i saw her face in person and it looked blurred lawless like a filter was on her skin and i was like maybe i should get my hands on a blurring primer or just a primer in general so i decided to pick this up and give it a try so i'm excited to use that so it says it's a pore blurring texture smoothing pore refining primer with nice cinnamide that mattifies and evens out skin's texture I love that it has some skincare in it and I love that it's supposed to be really pore friendly. It's not going to clog your pores or anything like that. So if you have sensitive skin, um, I will let you know if this works great. This thing, I decided to bite the bullet and finally pick up the House Labs Foundation by Lady Gaga. I've heard nothing but good things about this and I never try high-end foundations ever because i'm so stuck on my l'oreal infallible 32 hour wear or i think it's like fresh wear i don't even know the freaking name but it's the one with the red cap on it that's my all-time favorite foundation and it's at the drugstore like 15 dollars 14 dollars whatever it is i don't want to spend so much on a product that i'm going to use all the time like foundation something that i use almost every single day so to get like an expensive one is not like in my interest but i was so curious from all the good things that everybody says about it so i got it in the shade 110 light neutral i could have went with 100 light neutral as well but i figured this one would last me a little bit longer now that the summer is coming up and i would suggest going in the store to swatch your shade because I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a neutral person, but maybe I am. I don't know. I know that their label's a little bit different. And then I picked up my all-time favorite concealer ever, the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Custard. I decided to pick this up and save some money right now before I needed to buy a new one. And I'll just show you guys the color in case you're a similar skin tone as me and you want to try this out. It's that one right there i love this concealer it's the best the best the best the best of all time i've tried the tower 28 i've tried the makeup by mario i've tried the natasha denona nothing beats this one for me i will always always use that i picked up two powders the first one is one size ultimate setting powder in the shade translucent now this is a loose powder and i know that i already love this because i use this all the time um mainly for under my eyes but if i'm gonna go out all day or to like a dinner or something i will use this all over my face i get the mini size because again makeup can be so expensive and this one was 18 dollars, and so i was like you know what the mini one lasted me for like a, a month or two so i was like i'll just pick up the mini one again so i picked that up and i already know that i love it and then the next one that i picked up is the huda beauty easy bake and snatch pressed powder in the shade cherry blossom cake i know that i already love the huda beauty loose powders i've never tried her pressed powder before but i heard great things and i haven't tried the shade um cherry blossom so it's pink like that and i don't know i'm curious to see how i'm gonna like this i've only tried one pink powder before and it made me look kind of ashy this is more pink so it might brighten me up more underneath my eyes but we shall see so i got my hands on the westman atelier petite face trace contour stick and in the shade biscuit i've always wanted to try this but westman atelier is a little bit more on the pricier side so when i saw this in the little checkout because you know that's where they get you um i saw this shade the one that i've been wanting to try because i heard it's really nice for like my type of skin tone 
and I do really really like that shade so I'm very excited to try that and then I also grabbed the Patrick Ta double take cream and powder blush duo I love this formula already I have a couple from his line and this is in the shade just enough they keep coming out with all these pink blushes and everything like that I know everybody's getting sick and tired of them but I'm the girl that keeps buying them because I just think this is so pretty but yeah there it is it's literally the perfect shade of pink and it looks so pretty in the summer in the springtime picked up a few mists I didn't need all of these because I already used the Charlotte Tilbury one that I love and I also use the Rare Beauty Dewy Priming Mist or not Priming Mist but the Dewy Setting Spray the first one that I'll show you guys is from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I've used this over and over and over again for a few years, and then I stopped buying it because it got a little pricey. Uh, well, it's always been pricey, but I was like, you know what? I don't know if I need to be spending that much because it doesn't really make your makeup last any longer. It just gives you that dewy, fresh-looking skin. Um, and I love that for the summertime and it smells really good and the mist on it is so fine and I like used this all the time and it smells so good all right and then I also picked up the Caudalie which was in the checkout they get me they get me there um, it's the Beauty Elixir Smoothing Glowing Complexion Spray. I've used this over and over and over again as well. I bought the full sizes. I bought the minis. I love the way that this one smells too. And the same thing, it doesn't make your makeup last or anything like that. It's more of a skincare type of mist. So pick that up. And then the last spray or setting spray I got is the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray I've heard nothing but great things and I thought since summer's coming up I heard this is supposed to be like bulletproof like your makeup is going to last all day four days supposedly so I'm excited to try this I think this little one was like $18 out I love my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray that one makes my makeup last so I'm like if this one's supposed to make it last longer, I might make the switch, but that one's a little bit more, the Charlotte Tilbury one might still be more hydrating, and I need that, um, compared to this, so, I'm excited to see the differences. Okay, so the next two things that I have here are hair products, and it's by the brand Color Wow. I got the Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish Frizz Control and UV Protectant. I am, I picked this up for when I wave my hair. And I want it to look glossy and like super super shiny I've always wanted to like get that look this looks promising and hopefully I like it and then I also picked up the color wow raise the root thicken and lift spray you're actually supposed to use this when your hair is damp so um, I guess I'll have to try this when I get out the shower before I like blow dry my hair or something um, but yeah I kind of wish that you didn't have to use it when your hair was damp for like a little quick fix give you a little bit of volume really quickly but we shall see if I like that or not the reason why I went to Sephora in the first place is for this body butter the Sol de Janeiro Delicia Drenched Body Butter in Cheerios 59 fragrance I love this spray but I had the mini size of this and I loved it so much that when I ran out, I could tell the difference in my skin because um, I have other lotions that I use like from Bath & Body Works and stuff like that, but it doesn't leave my body moisturized all day like this one does. And I was like, this is expensive. It was like $50, $48, might as well be $50, right? But like that's expensive for this thing, for moisturizer. But I was like, you know what? It's on sale <laughs> so I convinced myself it smells amazing and I love the way that it makes my skin feel most importantly so I decided to bite the bullet and buy it I don't know if I'll buy it again honestly just because it is so expensive but I do love it I do love it another thing that I saw in the checkout aisle is the polished choice exfoliate 
um, and 2% BHA liquid exfoliants. I've seen so many positive reviews about this. I like can't not see it, it pops up everywhere. I really like my skincare routine right now. It's very simple, like four things that I use and I don't have an exfoliant so I thought I'd try it but I do not like incorporating new products because it's always a little bit iffy, you know, because you don't know how your skin's gonna react. But I've heard so many good things about it I figured I'd give it a shot. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up is from Kosa Sport. This is the Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. I picked this up only because I've seen amazing reviews on it and supposedly it's an all, well it's an all natural deodorant there's nothing supposedly about that but supposedly it leaves you odorless from the get-go you know how sometimes with those natural deodorants you're supposed to like wait two weeks and then your body adjusts and whatever whatever this one is supposed to just work off the jump and the catch is it also lightens your underarms so i was like girl you got me i'm gonna try that and i got the fragrance free one because i don't like fragrance really if i don't have to have it um i'm super skeptical on deodorants and stuff because i did try the sol de janeiro deodorant when they first came out with one and it was supposedly well not supposedly i keep saying that but it was an all-natural deodorant and i'm pretty sure um that contributed to me developing vitiligo underneath my arms so super skeptical but i've heard such good things that i'm willing to try this out and just for the fact that it lightens your underarms i thought that was really pretty cool my underarms aren't dark but she could get lighter you know okay i only picked up one fragrance which pat on the back for me during the sale i am gonna go back though and pick up the Fleur Amber Haze body spray. I smelled it <laughs> the other day and it smells so good. Um, so I am gonna go back and pick that up. But I picked up for now, the one that I have is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy Spray. It's just a really nice, sweet perfume. And it just smells really pretty and sweet. And yeah, that's why I picked it up. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy, but I liked it, so I got it. I also picked up the Sephora Dry Shampoo Brush Cleanser or Brush Cleaner. Um, this is supposed to be super, super easy just like to clean your brushes and then you can use it right away. You spray this on your brush and then you rub your brush on a towel or a cloth and then it's good to go. So I picked that up. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna show you guys are the lip products that I picked up. Okay, but I picked up this lip kit from Tower 28. It is $24, which 12 bucks for the lip gloss and a lip liner, I thought it wasn't too bad. Their formula is like a lip jelly and it's in a limited edition shade Iced Pistachio. And this is what it looks like, oh, it's pretty. It's just pink with like some gold flecks in it. That's nice. And the lip liner in the shade Work of Art. And they're both full size products. And there's that one. That's a color that I wear all the time. So I know I'm going to get my use out of it. And then I also picked up another lip liner from the Sephora line. It's the Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade 29 Dress to the 90s. So this is, they're actually very similar colors. This one's actually a little bit lighter, more pink. Let's see, is that one there? I use these shades all the time. I have like six of these already, but I mean, what's two more? You know what I'm saying? Okay, next lip product is the Milk Odyssey Lip Gloss in the shade or sorry, it's a lip oil gloss, which I just realized in the shade Work Trip. Ooh. Looks pretty, but I don't know if you guys can see. There's like some like little balls in it. I don't know. I'm gonna try it and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. I'll let you guys know if I returned any of these things, if these things worked for me and stuff too. I'll do like an update video. Um, 
But yeah, I thought it was just like a lip gloss. So you can't go wrong with like a lip gloss. And it was a really pretty pink shade. This one, however, which is the last thing that I'm going to show you guys, is from Jisoo. It's the Honey Infused Lip Oil in Strawberry Sorbet. I was not planning on picking this up because this is so expensive. It was $32 for a lip oil. I for sure was not getting two because I'm not going to spend $64 on two lip oils. But then I was like, it's a sale. And I blacked out and I picked it up and here we are. And it smells so good. <sighs> it smells so good. And it has a really pretty tint to it too. So I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to try it out. But yeah, that's all that I picked up from the sale this year, you guys. I am thinking that I'm going to upload a video on the everyday makeup products that I use today um, or right now and the skincare that I use before I start incorporating and trying all these new products out because um, I'm going to start doing that like ASAP. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you beautiful people have a beautiful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!